Hi, this is Dr. Liang in Toronto area. I'm an optometrist. Today I want to share with you what are the common questions uh, that were asked during COVID-19 period about the eyes. So for kids, um, the most common questions are uh, red eyes, uh, swollen eyelids, uh, possibly sty, uh, but it could also be eczema, and then uh, cellulitis or preceptor cellulitis. So never overlook a swollen lid. It could be a cellulitis. And in that case, they need to be seen on the same day. And then for adult, uh, the most common questions are uh, eye fatigue and uh, dry eyes, which can cause from computer use, um, and new floaters. So if it's a new floater, you don't need to get seen on the same day. So during COVID-19, uh, earlier uh, in the first couple of months, I actually donated my mask. And so I wasn't able to see people on an emergency basis. And so when those cases happened, uh, for the kid that had a swollen lid, um, it could be a sty. So one was actually a sty, and I was able to prescribe oral medication and send directly to the pharmacy so we can have it taken care of. And the child was able to get better in one week versus, in some cases, it takes three months to get better from a sty. And then for the uh, risk of uh, preceptor cellulitis or cellulitis, um, I actually shared this case with someone else. Um, or help someone manage this. Uh, they need to be seen on the same day. So it's good that we can see them uh, even remotely online with uh, audio or video and able to prescribe same day and possibly with an oral medication to take care of that and to avoid uh, the child having uh, the risk of getting their brain infected, which could be uh, cellulitis leading to meningitis. And then for the adults, um, eye fatigue is really common. So um, we need to take care of with some um, uh, artificial tears or uh, for dry eye products initially and recommend home therapy first. But um, when the office open, they can come in to address the eye coordination problems that may be associated with the eye fatigue and also update the lenses for better comfort. Uh, as for floaters, that is an emergency if it's a new floater. So on the same day, uh, it's good to call the optometrist and I was able to address them uh, on the same day when they uh, emailed me and I wasn't able to come into the office to see them because I didn't have masks, but I was able to refer them to my colleague on the same um, day and through email. And so they went within a short time and was able to get seen and address their visual problems. So for floater, if it's not addressed within 48 hours, it could lead to um, the retina being pulled away and uh, causing retinal detachment and lead to blindness. So it's good that they were seen right away. So these are the important things that optometrists do in Ontario to help take care of your eyes, so to uh, help improve your um, daily uh, living. Um, during COVID-19, we were able to effectively help people address this problem and minimize their chance of going to ER and getting uh, secondary infections or uh, COVID infections. Uh, however, during this uh, period, uh, Ontario optometrists were actually going through a crisis. We've been underfunded uh, by Ontario government for a really long time. For the past 30 years, we'll pay about the same fee, while everything else in expenses are going up. The rent, staff, uh, leasehold equipment, they're all going up. But our um, fee for every patient is still the same for children, seniors, and those in need. So that means uh, we're actually paying for half of the eye exam in recent years to cover the cost. Not only that, we're not get, getting paid for our console fees. So I'm hoping that you can support us and get us a fair payment for our work. You can go on to saveeyecare.ca and support us in putting in your name, email, and your postal code. Thank you very much. I'm hoping to be able to continue to help others. However, if we don't have enough support, there may be a chance that Ontario children, seniors, and those others in need, they may no longer get insured for their eye exam. Thank you for watching. I hope that you can share this and we can get more support. Take care. Have a good week.